It is an honor to have with us today members of the Cyprus Veterans World War II Association. This ceremony is held every year and is a special occasion to honor their service and to reflect on the contributions of all servicemen and women who give so much in the pursuit of peace. The International Day of Peace was created as a day of non-violence, a day for a ceasefire. It is also therefore an occasion for us to stand together to renew our shared resolve to continue the work to bring peace to all peoples. We're very honored to be joined today by the Amphasip Force Commander, Major General Kirsten Lund, to open the ceremony. And with that, could I please ask the Force Commander to step forward to share her remarks with us. Thank you, Force Commander. Distinguished guests, members of the World War, uh, World War II Veterans Association, colleagues and friends, welcome to this year's celebration of the International Day of Peace. I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to speak to you on this occasion. As the former head of Veteran Affairs in Norway, Armed Forces, I have taken great honor and pleasure in contributing to the important work of acknowledging veterans of all ages. My last meeting with veterans from World War II was during the 70 years anniversary of the landing in Normandy last May. And that left an overwhelming and unforgettable impression on me. Please join me in saluting the members of the Cyprus World War II Veterans Association. Association. I'm honored with your presence here this afternoon. I'm inspired by your service and reminded of the sacrifices your generation made to pave the way for the creation of the United Nations with a promise to save succeeding generations from the source of war. Greek and Turkish Cypriot, you fought side by side to win peace for us all. You exemplify how together Cypriots can unite for a greater good. I'm also delighted to welcome the generation of the future young representatives from both communities and hear their inspiring message. They offer us tremendous hope for building a peaceful future of coexistence on this beautiful island. We owe it to them to uh, redouble our efforts to forge a peaceful future for all secrets. Today on September 21st, it's an opportunity to again state our belief in nonviolence to call for a global ceasefire and remember those who continue to live in fear. Let us send them a message of hope that they are not alone. And today, as in years gone by, we will mark the occasion with a minute of silence to honor those killed in conflict and those that continue to live in the absence of peace. This year's remembrance is especially affecting. Truly, truly heartbreaking given the turmoil in this region, particularly in Syria, from where we have seen a human tide of washing ashore in Greece, Turkey, and even Cyprus. Let us pay tribute to those who have lost their lives and offer a beacon of hope to the survivors who continue to endure so much suffering. Friends, 40 years ago, the buffer zone where, where we are gathered today became a part of this island's life. It was never intended to become a lasting barrier between the two communities, nor was it meant to discourage Kypriot uh, from the need of the dialogue and the contact in the search for a lasting and comprehensive settlement. For the United Nations family here in Cyprus, supporting a comprehensive settlement, settlement remains our highest priority. We are uh, heartened by the progress both leaders are currently making. This is a window of opportunity for towards last peace or lasting peace. 
We remain committed to assisting the two sides in achieving the aspiration of both leaders to reach their shared goal of a united federal Cyprus for all. Let us strengthen our commitment to the reunification of this beautiful country. Let us take inspiration from the word of the young generation. Let us learn from the wisdom of the Second World War veterans and let our presence here this afternoon serve as a dedication to the cause of peace. The candle beside me symbols the worldwide vigil held by millions of people to mark the International Day of Peace. Thank you. Distinguished guests, dear colleagues, it is my great honor and privilege to address once more this wonderful meeting organized by the United Nations in order to celebrate the International Day of Peace. Why do I say once more? I'm 92 and I, God knows you, I, I will be here again too next year. Uh, this day, it's a constant remembrance of the need to respect and protect peace for all the people of the world. Unfortunately, peace is obsolete. In many countries, we face severe conflicts, and every day hundreds of people are killed, while others become refugees or die in their effort to flee their ruined countries. Although the bell of peace of the United Nations will once more signal the ceasefire, it is questionable whether this will actually be widely implemented. We, the Cypriot veterans, both Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots, are very proud that we joined the millions of people who fought on the Allied side in order to safeguard world peace and prosperity for future generations. Unfortunately, it seems that our association comes to an end. This is due to the fact that our members are overaged and facing health problems. And because, according to our constitution, the association will be dispersed when its members become less than 20. However, we will never stop defending peace and justice and do our share in order to endorse world peace and prosperity. Thank you. I am grateful that I'm standing here today, able to express my gratitude to the UN Peacekeeping Force, all the veterans here with us today, as well as all the people out there in the world working for peace daily. I do not consider peace just something that we as humans want, but as something we need and deserve. When I say act like a human, I expect human-like acts, like to love, to show compassion, to care, and to be kind. Now, if we all acted, or maybe should I say functioned, as to be humans, the form we were brought here as, then there would be peace. We just so often see humans step right out of their zone, being inhumane, and right there is where you just lose this greatness you had in just seconds. And I think we can all agree on that, especially lately. And I think the media managed to make us more aware of all this destruction. Now, today's a very special day as we pe celebrate Peace Day. Peace does not depend on the, does depend on the youth now more than ever here in Cyprus. And I myself feel that I need to keep working for a peaceful future. I feel that it is my duty to do my part and try the best that I can to promote peace and finally provide peace. But for this moment, all I hope is that every human will be a human for the rest of the days that have yet to come. Thank you. I am very glad that many more people from both communities interact as the time passes. I become more hopeful for the peace in our island. As teens, I always know that we have a big role in this progress and we will work for it until the, until the day that we will celebrate this peace all together. There are still conflicts happening in the world. People suffer and even die, which is really upsetting. Today, the world needs a stable peace, and I am hopeful one day Cyprus will become an example to the world and encourage people in the world to find peace.
Thank you. Please.